The Toyota Hilux 2.8 power. So we've been after one of these for many years. I mean, for a start, these came out in 1968. Gotta love tractor drivers around here. They know what to do. We're just leaving Silverdale and we're heading towards Grisdale. This is the new Toyota Hilux. It's also the Invincible X. And under the bonnet, we've got the 2.8. It's a 200 brake horsepower. Yeah, it's not the most economical. You can get a 2.4. It's got a decent ride height, it's got a very formidable four-wheel drive system and decent angles. Well, we're going to put it through its paces at one of our favourite haunts. You've got an eco button and a power button. Yes, power. This is eco. Power. Well, it transforms it. It'll tow for England, so three and a half tonne, and it'll carry over a tonne on the bed. We may have never had one of these on test. But I've driven one of the classic ones, and more to the point, you've driven many thousands of miles everywhere from Ireland down to the south of England in it was either the generation before this or the generation before that Hilux haven't you yeah we've literally done the length and breadth of the UK haven't we yeah, and we have. everything in between yeah with a little cater pod attached to it well that's it when you're the event manager you're the one that has to drive all the stock and the cater pod to the location exactly so that's it we know how versatile how powerful just how capable these pickup trucks are. Smiley. Smiley. Well, it transforms it using power. All 201 horses. And we're at motorway speed already. Have to back down a bit. Well, it did that with ease, didn't it? It's just a throttle response as well. I'm just ever so slightly hovering over the accelerator. It's like it's permanently on the turbo, so I can just go zip. So do you want it back in eco mode now? Yes. Although we both discussed this, didn't we, the other day and agreed that um, it's far smoother in power mode, isn't it? Well, it is without a load. I've not tried it without, with a load, because that's it. It'll come into its own in power and expect when you've got three and a half ton or whatever on the bed. I have noticed is at 60 miles an hour, it's ticking over at just under 1500 revs. Wow. A little bit of wind noise, kind of comes with the territory with the pickup, especially things like big mirrors. But it's very refined in this cabin. Well it is, you can hear a little bit of road noise, but... Much. No. With all the mod cons that you'd expect to see in a well-spec car. Well, it's got, I think it's Toyota Sense technology as well, which is its safety system. Things like lane keep assist, road sign recognition, AEB, collision detection, etc. Et and I know you were talking about this on the, your live, sorry to interrupt you there. That's fine. But it's a pickup that's got mood lighting. Yeah, it's pretty well spec'd up. The one thing I am surprised at is the fact that there's hardly any soft materials. Even the bits on the dash look like they're soft, but they're rigid hard plastic. Thing is, you've got the look of it, yeah. but the practicality of the hard. Exactly, which means it's easy to clean. It's a pickup. Nine times out of ten, they're going to be workhorses. Suspension. Well, an interesting one. You've got hard suspension on the back for the bed, but you've got relatively soft suspension at the front. So cornering it holds its composure to a point, but don't expect to be going into any bends particularly fast because you will get body roll. Nice yellow Porsche. Oh, that was very nice. Nice. Oh, that's an old Rover. Ooh. Let's try acceleration. Fourth gear, we're in eco, let's put it in power. So that's 50 miles an hour. A little bit of lag from the turbo. But then when it gets a hold, you just watch the speedo climb and climb and climb. And before you know it, you've exceeded the speed limit. Also, wind noise gets a bit louder. But it's quite heavy winds today and it's not buffeted all over the shop so that's good to see nice smooth gearbox but the actual gear changes it's a nice solid box very fluid it's not the longer shift either yeah the power's cool you can just feel the turbo <laughs> and i suppose it's the one you go for because it's far more economical even me flooring it around pretty much solidly, still getting 
You feel the pull away then? I did, and the wobble of the camera will attest to that. Yeah, it's a talky <laughs> beast. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's fun. See what I mean about the, a bit of the um, listing styley there? But you do expect some body roll, it's a pickup. Exactly. It's not the loudest engine, but when you put it under load at four, you're gonna yeah. hear it. Yeah with the territory with one of these doesn't it yeah they do pull like trains though it is a little bit bouncy and unless, it's empty yeah well yeah exactly unless you've got something on the bed then you will notice it but it's not all over the shop and it's not all jittery it does the job perfectly so this is floored in sixth gear traveling at a touch over 70 and it's just pulling but no when you sat at say one and a half to two and a half thousand revs it's quite a refined experience in the cabin don't need to have your foot down on the pedal much either. Especially with the you know how high it is and the comfortable driving position, you've got great visibility. It's just really well set up, isn't it? Yeah. Now if you go for the 2.4, yeah, it's 148 brake horsepower. It's not quite as powerful and you will notice it. If you're gonna to be towing best bets to go for the 2.8. And yes, you do get the 2.8 in the GR Sport that we saw at the CV show about six months ago. We even got a glasses holder here. That seems to be a staple we pick up, still it? Yes. Lights, pretty damn good. LEDs. Yeah, you don't get LEDs on every trim, but you do on the Invincible and the Invincible X. It also changes things like styling. We'll have a look at that when we get to Grisdale. Brakes what you expect to be honest pretty solid four-wheel drive of what I've seen so far seems to be rather formidable you've got a rotary down here like most pickups now so too high four high four low and you can lock the rear diff decent weight in depth and they've also raised it I think it's another 60 mil so it's got a better ground clearance oh that's a fair old launch isn't it for second gear and power Ooh. mode pulls not to 60 in I think it's about 10 7 not bad for a pickup if you go for the 2.4, it's closer to 13. You will notice a fair old power down when you put it into Eco, but nine times out of 10, it'll do you, to be honest. So you've got a really good view of the road. Big door mirrors, so you can see things clearly, but they fold, so that makes it easier on a back lane. Also, looking out the back window, I do notice that the bed tips up ever so slightly, but you've got a 360 camera on this, so that's not really a problem. And parking sensors come to think of it. It's easy to manoeuvre, it's easy to steer. I mean, it's quite weighty at the moment, but when I was manoeuvring before, it does lighten up and it gives good feedback too. All in all, it's a very well set up pickup. Even in eco, it'll pull. Oh my word! Everybody's decided Grisdale's the place of choice today. Sitting here. Oh, Ferrari, California. California. Well, the roads are going to get decidedly narrow now, aren't they? They are indeed. Wow. Could be an off-road adventure without seeing a Jimny. Now they're one capable motor. And also a Good firm favourite of ours. <laughs> well spotted, down the Lovely clear cluster, analog clocks and a fuel computer in the middle. Shows everything from DAB through to your economy. See some of your safety too. Nice cornering. It's not the smallest turning circle, but it's not the biggest. But easy to manoeuvre, like I said, with cameras, parking sensors, the whole shebang. You've got really good high quality resolution here when you're doing your manoeuvring, haven't you? Oh yeah. It's a decent camera. Oh dear. You wouldn't uh, want to meet anything coming the other way on this road, would you? Well, we've met people a few times, I haven't know. we? Usually end up there. A couple of interesting things about this vehicle. For a start, it does periodically say DPF regeneration in progress. Now we know, back in the day, that used to take out diesel motors for fun. So it's good that this has got this kind of process system. The other thing is, in the same screen, you can see which way your wheels are facing, so either left, right, straight, etc. Just makes it easier to manoeuvre so you know exactly which way before you put your foot down. 
Ford up here, but they close it for salmon. Oh, if it had said the salmon, I would have remembered that. Sorry. <laughs> I know what you mean now. Oh, look, fence off. Well, we're in too high. Absolutely no problems. Bit of wheel spinach. That'd Not very much of one though, was it? I was going to say it'd be eliminated with four high anyway, wouldn't it? Also, lights just kicked in. The water may be deep. I'm counting on it. Oops, a bit overgrew. Staying in second all the time. church on the brow of the hill, thin bridges, old school slate. Here we are, Oxen Park. <laughs> 